Hey and welcome to yet another highly anticipated devlog for my game Elementum. In case you're new here or need a little reminder, Elementum is a spellcrafting roguelike where you get to play as one out of four elemental mages and go on to defeat tons of enemies and by doing so, collect spells and upgrades for them. In the last episode I talked about my ideas for the design of the new progression system, but at that time the system was nothing more than just a concept. I had no idea if it would actually work and figured that the best way to test it was to implement it. And so I did. But before I get into the progression system, let me first show you some of the most recent gameplay changes. As you guys know, in Elementum you start off with just one spell, your normal attack. However, I figured that a single spell and some stats adjustments just wasn't enough to differentiate the four characters from one another. So I decided to add the dash ability to be a default one as well. Now, each time you start a run, you get the corresponding attack and dash, giving you an idea of what the character's strengths and weaknesses are. This means you are left to fill 3 spell slots now, instead of 4, which surprisingly fixes a bunch of problems I had. Like for example, most players complained that there were too many spell slots to fill, as they would only focus on one or two spells and neglect the rest. It also reduced the choices you had to make when you pick spells, which some players found overwhelming. In general, the spell collecting power of the game got a lot shorter, which is exactly what I was aiming for because I always saw it as like the beginning step of a run. Talking about spell collecting, let's now go over how that happens in the current version of the game. As always, you can get spells from the four elemental books. Since you now only need three, you can fill those up quite quickly as I made sure that they have a high spawn chance early on in the game. Once you fill all slots, they are out of the reward pool and won't be seen again. These changes aligned well with my goal to have the spell collection to be a beginning step of a run, as now you get full inventory by stage 4 or 5, making you ready to start spellcrafting. But how do you spellcraft in Elementum? This is a very reasonable question, as up until now progression was very linear and there wasn't much of a choice. However now, there is all the choice that you would want. It's all done with this, the pineapple, the Elemental Mage's favorite fruit. This fruit is so powerful, it allows you to grant one of your spells a unique trait. Maybe you want it to bounce. Or maybe you want it to pierce enemies. How about making it home at the nearest target? Or perhaps you want all of them at the same time. This and so much more is possible with the new spellcrafting system. Players have full control to select 4 traits and apply them to their spells during a run. And trust me when I say this, I had so much fun just testing the possibilities and still haven't tried it all. It's honestly part of the reason why this devlog took a month. I was done with the systems in the first two weeks, rest was just me playing around with it and having fun. Next reward I want to introduce are the long awaited amulets. For the longest time now I had the idea of amulets but never got the chance to find their place in Elementum. But now, with the new spellcrafting system, they fit right in. Amulets are powerful buffs that will shape up your build further. They're usually there to amplify the setup you're aiming for or completely shift things in a different direction. It is also important to mention that during a run, you don't just get one or two amulets, you can collect up to a total of six, making you super powerful by the end of your run. Some amulets even possess infinitely scaling properties, like this one for example that splits your basic attack once for each opportunity scroll that you have. But what are scrolls you may ask? It's simple, they are the stat rewards. Each scroll grants you a player stat increase and a buff for all of your spells. Collected the scroll of momentum? Well, now you get to run faster and all of your spells have a slightly increased chance of applying their curse on an enemy. It is also important to mention that these scrolls are infinitely collectible meaning that the more you collect, the better you will be stats wise, but also your amulets will improve. And with that said, these are all of your ingredients when making a build in Elementum. To recap, during a run, you first collect 3 basic spells. After that, you get to grant them different properties by getting pineapples, acquire passives to further shape your build with amulets, and bring your loadout to the next level by picking up scrolls. This should all give enough randomness and choice in the game, making each run feel special. Right, now that we have all our build crafting elements out of the way, let's talk additional rewards. Like for example the Essence. The Essence is a resource you can collect during a run that can be used to reroll your options when making a choice. For example, you get 3 common spells to choose from, you can reroll them and hope to get something better next time. Or maybe you're looking for that one specific amulet that will finish up your build, so you spend a couple of Essence to find it. The Essence will also be used as meta progression currency allowing you to improve your base stats between runs and unlock a bunch of other things I have planned for the meta progression part of the game, 
but we'll talk about this one later. Here is where I want to ask you guys the question. What do you think about having the same resource be used as in run currency as well as meta progression one? Should I maybe add another currency like gold for example to be the in run currency and make it so you spend essence only in the meta progression? Let me know your thoughts as I really want to get this part of the game right and with your help I can elevate Elementum to be the game that we all want to play for hours. Alright, I know this might seem like a lot of information for like a first time player but trust me, I made sure that the communication is as good as possible. During the past few weeks, I also spent some time reworking my in-game UI, making an inventory widget to show you all the spells and amulets you have collected, as well as their descriptions and stats. This is also where you find the spell upgrades together with an explanation of their properties that updates in real time. I'm still figuring out where to store the player stats information, but that's something to look for in the next few weeks. And that's it, this is the progression system of Elementum. I'm honestly very happy with how it turned out. I already run a couple of playtests with my friends and we were all having tons of fun with it. I have to say it is very exciting to play your own game and theory craft on the go, as now the possibilities are near endless when it comes to what build you can create. There is of course a lot more content that I want to make before being fully satisfied with the game, but I do feel like it's finally finding its identity and going in the right direction. As always, I'm constantly on the lookout for feedback, so let me know what you guys think about the system, and if it made you come up with ideas on your own, share them in the comment section. I read and take into consideration every comment, so don't be afraid to leave your opinion. As a final note, best way to support me now is to wishlist Elementum on Steam. Each and every one wishlist helps me get closer to my goal to release a game that will be enjoyed by many people for many hours. That being said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.